There's several ways you can take screenshots of your desktop. Say if you want to turn in a homework assignment. The easiest one is if you just hit the print screen button on your computer and then just paste it in. And you can either right click and choose paste or do a control V. And so what I've done is I've pasted the entire desktop into paint for an example. Another way we can do this is using the snipping program. So I'll go to search, just type in snip. And we have the option for snip and sketch or just snip, snipping tool. I'm going to choose the snipping tool and click new. And all I got to do is just draw a box around what I would like to snip. And then I can save it as a particular picture file. Multiple different options here. We've got ping, we've got GIF, we've got JPEG, etc. And the last one is going to be the snip and sketch application. So choose that, and now we have Snip and Sketch. Now we've got lots of options with Snip and Sketch. It does have a lot more features than previous versions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the drop down arrow next to New and choose Snip Now. And then this new section of little boxes pops up here. So one is, if you hover over, you can see it's going to be a rectangular snip, which is similar to the snipping tool. Another is the freeform snip, which I really like. So I'm going to choose that one. And then I'm just going to draw around anything I'd like. And look at that. And it's going to paste it in. That's pretty cool. Another one is going to be the Windows snip. And I'll click on that. And you see it's just snipping the open window that I have here. And it's going to paste that in there. And then the last one is going to be the full screen snip, which is similar to that print screen button, which I clicked to start off, off this video. So those are your different snipping options that you can choose. And I know a lot of people use those for homework and for artistic purposes in the new Windows 11.